Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and today I'm gonna do a reaction for you. Um, I almost said music reaction, because that's usually what I do. It's not a music reaction today. Um, I'm trying out some different types of reactions, um, and today I wanted to react to this channel called Truly. Um, I've never reacted to them before, but I have seen people react to them, and they have a lot of videos that uh, very much remind me of like, uh, the the channel TLC where you know people live their lives in very abnormal ways or people who are maybe addicted to something weird or you know those types of shows um that's what this channel shows and so uh I came across one called I stay at home and pick the men my wife dates love don't judge and it's it's weird. It's like based on this channel, it's it's not like clickbait because that's what this channel does is showcase all these people who live their lives in very weird ways. So I don't know if that means like they just have an open relationship or um, if maybe she has like uh, sugar daddies um, and that's how they make money. Um, I don't really know, but we're going to find out together and uh, and see what we think. And then if you enjoy uh, me reacting to these types of videos, I can react to some more of them. Um, but you'll have to let me know in the comments if you would be interested in that. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Real quick before I start though, I wanted to remind everybody that I do have a Discord. So if you're interested in joining, the link to it will be in the description and the pinned comment. And we have a lot of fun in there. And I also take suggestions, uh, reaction suggestions on Discord too. But let's go ahead and uh, let's, get started on this video. Here we go. This is Alex. She fell in love with Mitch. But Alex isn't just romantically involved with her husband. I date other people whilst my husband's at home. It would be way more upsetting for me to see her walking down the street holding hands with someone else rather than having sex with someone else. But the couple's unconventional arrangements what? have brought them judgment online. Wait, it's... You feel more uncomfortable with her holding hands with someone than having sex with someone. Um, they're both an intimate thing to do. So how is it that holding hands is worse? I don't know, that's, that's weird. That ain't a husband, he wants to be a pimp. I'm a bad wife. People have said that our relationship's just Weird. And whilst Alex frequently dates other men, the same is not the case for Mitch. The thought of Mitch dating another woman. It's so nice. <laughs> what? Here's my question. Does he want to date other women? Like, is it something that they both just want to have an open relationship? Um, but also still be together and date other people, but she just can't handle it? Or is it that he's just not interested in dating other people? So today I am looking at dresses for pictures for my dating profile, and I'm gonna show my husband, Mitch, for some options. I think I'm gonna take this one to Mitch to see what he thinks. We first met when we were 14 years old. He just oh. stopped and gawked at me and he didn't know what to do. It's true. <laughs> this is too much for a first date. Might be a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Went out for two so, weeks, you dumped me. Yeah, it's true. And then I didn't give up. And seven years later, I got back together. Very persistent, yeah. Me and Alex have been together for just over 10 years now. As a couple, we are massively judged because we don't do the traditional thing. You know, I date other people. Mitch is predominantly the one that's at home with the kids, which to some people that's really bizarre because it's usually the woman. Some people have said, how a bad mom, how a bad wife. So is, is like, is that his job is to stay like a stay at home dad? And is her job to go date people or does she have a job? like? Do they make money? People have said that our relationship's just weird. 
I think when I started OnlyFans, I faced such a big oh, wave of judgment gotcha. that it almost gave me the confidence to just live my life as I want to. I said, you know, I'm thinking about opening up a dating app. How do you feel about that? And then it wasn't even really a long conversation really, was no. it? Because we've sort of had what? little bits of conversation here and there and we've said it's not really a big deal. I think us. my main thing is just honesty. Yeah. Loads of people cheat and I think the worst part about it is the dishonesty. I don't think people having sex with other people is actually that big of an issue, to be honest. Even if I tried to lie to him about something, he, he would know, he would just know. So it's just best to always be open about this sort of thing. Okay, I'm ready. But what I want to know is, is, is it strictly for OnlyFans or is she actually dating these other people too? Like going out on actual dates or is it just to make money? That's what, that's what I want to know. Cause, and I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised they aren't American because usually when you see these fucking crazy people with ridiculous lives, they're always fucking American. <laughs> always. Today we are going to take some new photos for my dating profile. I guess some people would think it'd be quite odd assisting her to do the pictures for her dating profile, but you know, she's on OnlyFans and if people want to see pictures of her, they've, they've got the internet. So I don't really see that it's any different. I'd never want to meet any of the dates. I think that'd just be a bit weird, to be honest. I do have a type. I think Alex's type is kind of a bit geeky. More dad bod than uh, gym bod, I would say. I love geeky men that are good at maths. I don't know why, that's just my thing. He's really good at his times table. <laughs> times tables gets you in the mood, doesn't it? <laughs> and just like clever people. I do sometimes feel guilty about going on dates whilst Mitch is at home. I do feel bad, but I will text him and be like, are you okay? Is everything fine? I just enjoy the peace, to be honest. I can watch whatever I want on the TV. Just watch his football, don't Yeah, peace is just watch sport. He loves Play it. football manager in peace. He loves so that. It's great. Living his best life. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So good. Just on the dating site, just having a little look. Right. With the dating, it's more of just fun. I can't catch feelings for these people. I can't fall in love with them because that's what our marriage is. It's, yeah. That's our thing. We're in love with each other and that's our marriage. So this is just fun. So I've well, made that. She can't fall in love with meaning like she's not allowed to fall in love with them or like does she want to fall in love and he's just not allowing it because they're married already? Like, I mean, I don't know. This whole setup is just crazy to me because, um, you know, clearly I believe in a monogamous relationship, but um, I don't know. I just, I, just, I feel like no matter how okay someone says they are okay with something, or no matter how okay someone says they are with something, um, it, I feel like there's always some sort of underlying jealousy, you know? There's gotta be, there's, this guy has got to have these moments of jealousy. And it makes you wonder like if, like if they're doing it for the money, if OnlyFans didn't get paid very much, would he still want her to do that? Or is it because of lifestyle like they can make good money? very clear on my dating profile that it is just something casual. I'm not looking for a relationship or anything like that. I think it would be way more upsetting for me to see her walking down the street holding hands with someone else rather than having sex with someone else. It's different for different people. I think some people have that need or desire to want to sleep with other people. I don't believe it's a human nature to just have one partner for your whole of your life. Having said that, it's not something that I'm particularly fussed about and um, it's not something that I desire at this moment in time. The thought of Mitch dating another woman, it's, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. I mean, why would you? You got it's me. True, yeah. <laughs> why you would you, you got me? You got steak at home and all that. 
I do well, have a sugar you? daddy. You have him. He has bought me designer bags. He has paid for holidays. Whenever I want a takeaway, he pays for it. So if I'm out, I will text my sugar daddy and he will pay for the date as well because he likes to pay for the dates. The money side of it doesn't particularly bother me, to be honest. Our relationship is our relationship and that's not going to change. If someone was prepared to pay for all that for me, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it down. We get so much judgment as a couple every day on social media. It's like every half an hour someone says something. That ain't a husband, he wants to be a pimp. Extreme friend zone. He has a gay face. <laughs> <laughs> What's a gay face even look like? Men these days are a disgrace. I think you've just got to have the perspective that Twitter isn't the real world and that 99% of people just don't care what you get up to. I think I'd much rather do something that is controversial to people than be these people typing out hate all day. Imagine that, spending your day being really, really nasty to people girl. online. Like, that's really quite tragic, to be honest, isn't it? I mean, we get a lot of trolling as a couple, but Alex also gets quite personal ones as well. Even with her pimp's approval, I'd rather pick my nose than pick that creature for a date. Wow. It's really annoying to see her That's get mean. the level of, sort of abuse she gets online. So many people say to me, like even other OnlyFans creators, that I don't know how you put up with this. I've never seen anyone get as much crap as you do. But yeah, I am a human being. Like some days it is really hard, isn't it? You show me like... You don't have to agree with a another person's lifestyle. That's to that's totally fine, you know? What these people do in their life is uh, is their business. They're putting it out there for all of us to see, but um, it's their business, and if they're not hurting anyone, then it, then it doesn't matter. They can do whatever they want. They can live whatever lifestyle they want. But it is odd to see um, people who are in a, a marriage also dating other people whether it be for money or for things whatever um it is strange you know because it's not the norm what's funny though is this is uh nothing to do with anything but uh she kind of looks like a couple of my cousins which is i think is funny comments and I look at the profile picture and it's like a really fat, bald, ugly old man and you think, really? I, like, people in glass houses should not be throwing stones. I have never ever in my life ever been trolled by a hot, successful, happy <laughs> person. That doesn't happen. But to be fair, there's also people making sensible points like, why are people's preferences a thing for society to debate enough? Kind of a point. Well, you're I feel like we have a really strong relationship. Yeah, I think you're, it's, you're pretty to be happy. honest, it's really rare. Like, we've known each other for a very long time, and we've been through so much. Oh. <laughs> like, obviously, he does my absolute head in sometimes, but I couldn't live without you. Like, I really couldn't. I couldn't go through life without him. I would say to the people who judge our relationship, thank you for giving us an insight to how miserable you are and yours. I think just try and open your mind a little bit and realise that not everyone's the same and that different people want to live their life differently and what makes one person happy or one couple happy isn't going to make everyone happy. Well, that was a pretty interesting video. Um, it, they're right. I mean, they... Uh, it's no one's business what they do in their lives, um, but they are making it people's business by making it public so so people are gonna have you know opinions on their lifestyle because it is not the norm um but they aren't hurting anyone and as long as they're both con two consenting adults then it doesn't really matter um what they're doing as long as they are breaking any laws or hurting anyone you know they can live their life the way they want but it is kind of like it is it is different because you know, she's, I, I, I suppose it's like this, it's this decade's version of sex workers who maybe make pornos or whatever. It's just, 
OnlyFans instead. It's a new way of doing things, but also she goes on dates and has like sugar daddies too. Whether she's married or not, I think that lifestyle uh, is odd anyway, because um, that is not something I would ever choose for myself. And I don't have a problem with people who do that. Um, but uh, it's, it's not something I would ever do, especially being a mom. And she's a mom, she said. So one day those kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna know what their mom does and they're gonna get teased for it at school because kids are really mean, they can be really mean. And um, if a kid finds out that your mom makes money in this way or goes out and sees other men that aren't your dad or is constantly getting gifts from um, other men, it's gonna look a certain way to children um, and you know, it's the children that are going to suffer from it because they don't have a choice. So I do think that um, in that aspect of when you have children, you have to really be careful what you're doing because um, you don't you don't want to do anything that would embarrass your child or somehow hurt your child in some way in the future. But other than that, you know, they aren't hurting anyone, anyone and they're two consenting adults and they can do whatever they want. It's just an odd lifestyle to me because it's not my lifestyle, you know. But I thought that was interesting. Um, they have lots of different types of videos on that channel. Uh, so if you're interested in me checking out some more, let me know in the comments and I can check out some more of those. I can react to some more of those. Um, I have lots of things that I would like to react to this year that's not just music. I'm still gonna continue doing music reactions, of course, but um, there's other things I wanna react to also. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hit like if you did, subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and I will see you next time.